Hi, it's Sean with Tri-State Waterworks. We're going to look at the backflow repairs today. Uh, Tri-State Waterworks currently has two certified backflow technicians. What that means is they're certified with the state. We have a license to work on backflows and to test backflows. This backflow was put on this spring and it's leaking water out of the relief valve. Also notice that when I turn it on and have a flow going through it, it stops. So that tells me there's probably an issue with the first check. So we're going to take that check apart and look. It may just be some debris or we may need to replace the uh, rubber disc that seals off in that area. So what I'm taking apart here is the first check valve. So this is the poppet. It goes in the check, the spring holds it closed. I notice there's a big hunk of debris that could be causing a problem, but this rubber washer is also has a very big indentation where it's been sitting on the seat. And after time, these things wear out and you have to replace them. So we're gonna take it apart and put a new one on. So when I take this washer out, I'm looking at the back side of it and it's in perfectly good shape. So we can get two uses out of this washer. We'll be able to flip it over. If it was deteriorating, it was cracked, we would need to replace it, but it's still very soft and supple. So it looks like it's in good shape. Dirt in our backflows is a real nemesis. It's caused most of the problems. So one thing I will do is flush out the backflow before I put the parts back in. Nine times out of 10, this will repair the problem. But there is one other issue. It could be the problem is the, the seat in this particular backflow is plastic. And if it froze last year and that seat cracked, that could also cause the issue. So we always wanna fix the easiest thing first. So checking that poppet and seeing that this does that. Like I said, it may be the seat, but that would be a lot more work taking that apart and getting to that portion of it. So we're just going to turn the water back on and see if we get water dripping out of the bottom. And voila, it's fixed. No more water leaking out of the bottom of the backflow. So sometimes it's a real simple fix. Other times it can be rather complicated. There's a lot of moving parts and pieces in here. And typically speaking, unless you're really mechanically inclined, it's not the kind of thing we recommend a homeowner taking apart because there's little springs and O-rings. And when you take stuff apart, those springs, things will fly out and you only, won't even know you're missing the part when you're putting it back together. Thanks, this is Sean with Tri-State Waterworks, your backflow specialist.